Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Efficient Accountant. Today I'm going to go over how to categorize bank transactions in Excel based on the bank description. To the left we have our bank transactions and to the right we have our helper table that has keywords commonly found in the bank descriptions, the vendors, and the expense categories that we would like returned for those vendors. I like using the search and lookup functions for this better than using a VLOOKUP because the bank descriptions vary every time and this offers a bit more flexibility. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by setting up our search formula. Equals search keyword column lock that and then search for the keyword within B2. This is an array formula and it returns one in the first row, which means it found Jewel Osco at the first character in B2 and the first row of our lookup vector. So then I'm going to put this in a lookup formula equals lookup. Actually, no, I'm going to keep this to the side so y'all can visualize it. Okay, so then we're gonna put the search formula in the lookup equals lookup a big number, which I will explain why we're using that shortly. And then I'm going to put what I want returned. So in this, in this column, I want the vendor returned. All right. Then I'm just going to lock that. Okay, and it returned Jewel Osco, which is the correct thing. And I'm just going to explain what that's doing. So. The lookup here is going to look for this huge number and it's not going to find it. And then it's going to search. And since it's not going to be able to find that, it's going to go back to the one in our lookup vector, which corresponds to the cell with the keyword Jewel Osco, which is also the last place the formula found a corresponding keyword to the bank description in B2. All right, so then I'm just going to pull that down and see how that looks. All right, let's check the, US, the UPS store. It's looking for keyword UPS. The vendor is obviously UPS. I'm going to copy this formula over into the expense category column. All right, and then I'm just going to update the result vector to the expense category. And then I'm just going to pull that down. I forgot to lock that. Pull that down. All right. So there you go. And that's how you categorize bank data in Excel based on the bank descriptions. I linked the article I used from Excel Jet. Net to give me a basis on how I use this for bank descriptions. I use this formula every day at work, and I hope you can find it helpful, whether that's at work or for your personal finances. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more efficient accounting content. Thanks for watching.